Hey guys, VKHD here. Let's play a bit of Contra. Now this isn't going to be a speed run or or anything like that. Uh, this is just going to be a playthrough with no Konami code, trying to see how far I can go as best as possible. It's a game where you have to be on your toes at all times. And you have to know your way around the gameplay. Or to find the, uh, the power-ups. And you have to know where the weapons... Where the, where the enemies overall. Where they're coming from. Because they can pop up when you least expect it. But once you got spread, they're already dead, so... There are times where you do have to go a bit gung-ho in certain parts of the game. If you find a, a window of opportunity, so to speak. Like, if you can manage to, like, dodge those turrets that are constantly throwing bombs at the bottom, you can just go straight forward and just go for the core in a cinch. For the most part, stick with the... stick with the spreader. Depending on, depending on your, your situation, either go head on or go for the turrets. You never know. But for the most part, if you're on fire and you're focused, just go for the core. It's really tricky to shoot when everyone is aiming at you simultaneously. Gotcha. Here we go. It's best to take down the turrets or these little bomb things first. Okay. Booyah! I've been practicing a lot. <laughs> Ever been so focused going through the game several times that you just end up sweating? That's how I feel right now. You have to know when to aim. Precisely, like uh, like I just did right now with the guy with the waterfall. You never know. Sometimes you just have to be careful here. It's always best to open a path because it's better to be safe than sorry. Okay, rifle. Let's see, the enemy pop up is just rough sometimes, and it can get worse in later levels, in later games, to be more precise. Sometimes with so much going on, it's a little hard to see where the projectiles are coming from, you know? Right here, it's a little hard to see at times.
but you have to know your way around. Okay, go. Oh. Not only do you have to dodge, you have to jump at it. this monster. It's best to go for the arms first. Just to be safe and sorry. Now go for the head. Woo! There we go. Got five lives. That's good. Once you got spread, they're already dead, dude. Go for the core. Screw it. Make up for lost time. What are you waiting for? Damn it! That triggered me. I was on such a roll. Unfortunately, the electric fence only stuns you, doesn't kill you. Nah, that's probably gonna give me a machine gun. I can work with this. Doesn't matter. Let's go. Uh, oh, nice shooting there, Tex. And... Oh! Here's where I struggle. area here. I'm Got him. Let's 
snowfield. This one's a tricky one. Mainly because of these turrets. And the bombs. Just throws literally everything at you. On your toes, dude. On your toes. Rapid fire. Okay. Uh, hmm. I don't need it. I do need this though. Crap. That threw me off. You see how the the soldiers just pop up? Just give you a, like a quick sneak attack. Not cool. In comes the car. This warthog or something. Try to take him down as fast as possible with the standard pea shooter of a gun. Which you can't do, by the way. Okay. Eyes in the back of your head. Round two. You know, it's always best to be in the far left because there's that little corner where this warthog can't reach. I'm calling it warthog because, you know, halo terms. Fast on your feet. Incoming. Witness a game that gives you Vietnam flashbacks. This was probably inspired by it. Damn it! I shouldn't have gotten up. This part's gonna get tricky. If you had a laser or a spreader, you could finish this in a cinch. The thing is that I bombard you with everything, it doesn't really give you a hands. But I did manage to beat it. This thing is sweat inducing. <laughs> oh boy, the energy zone. This part is very tricky because there are some flamethrower areas which are treacherous. Treacherous and super cheap, by the way. We might as well, you know, fuck an extra life, so. Oh! I have the other guy aiming at me, son of a bitch. This part's tricky. Technically, you can jump there, but you have to be, like, on the edge. Might as well keep the shot. Let's see. See? It's still close. No problem. Try it again. Let's try it again. Oh! 
When they pop in frame, they show no mercy. There is a way around it. Okay. See, but you have to, like, be on the edge of that platform. Which is ludicrous, but that's just part of the challenge, I guess. Timing is key. Okay. One, two. Gotcha. One, two. Okay. One, two. Shoot this guy. The tricky one here is that, okay, you see that block down there? That's the barrier. But you have to aim, while at the same time, try not to get hit by the flamethrower. Ah, so close. There are times I can pull it off, like, a bare milliseconds or whatever. Yeah, the barrier is this game's Starman. It goes up to here at least. At last. Uh, it goes up to here at least. Okay, so what do we do here? That's when we fight that giant gladiator. You can jump over him, thankfully. Whoa, 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 <sighs> Try this again. The screen flickering doesn't help at times. Because with so many enemies shooting everywhere, the screen flip screen flickering is only making things worse. And you can't get a clear shot as to where the projectiles are coming from. Duck. One, two, three. One, two, three. Duck. Shoot this guy. Easy. Gladiator time. Oh! You can throw one to three discs at you. Park can get super tricky too. This is like the factory area. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Gotcha. Okay. Fire. Okay. 
keep an eye on this turret. Another important thing, the better spikes that do pop up vertically from time to time. I find it funny how like, this level recycles the theme from the first level. That's why you have to turn your back every now and then. Ridiculous. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Okay. One thing I have to do here. Hit the barrier. We need to miss ability from time to time. Input can be a little jittery. Um, we're gonna see if we can get the spreader leader, which is right over here. Okay. Jump! Okay, let's go. Yeah, the bottom part with the claws down beneath, down below. They get super tricky. Oh, this part. Timing. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. Take care of the better spikes, then go. One, two, three, four. Shit! Went ahead of myself. Damn it! Oh! Okay, I'm noticing that the D pad is a little jittery on, on this. Of course, I'm playing it on an emulator, so. Maybe I'm just getting really nervous because I've gotten this far. Damn it! Shouldn't have jumped. See if I can get the other one. One, two, three. Sometimes they pop up and they really give you time to react. Turrets, man. Hey, gung ho, gung ho. Go to the core. Yes.
Oh god. My heart's racing. How far I can make it. Oh, keep an eye on these little parasites that keep popping up. That's why. They can get a little tricky. I think I'm missing opportunity. Oh, this is going to be hell. Let's take these out first. I can do this. Oh, you son of a bitch! Yes! There you have it. There you have it. I'm freaking sweating. This is the first time I've actually recorded myself beating the game. And this is the second time I beat it. <laughs> yes. uh, anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough. This thing was rough. Believe it or not, I did several takes of this one. But my god. That sense of accomplishment, man. I never thought I'd uh, I'd pull this off again. But trial and error, dude. Granted. Ugh, sorry if I uh, got a little yellowish. This is the backlight. I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> but yeah, there you have it. NES Contra. Sorry if the light's a little off at times. Let me just hear the green screen. But man. What a ride. Well, I did this mainly because of, uh, yeah, in there, then we start over. Yeah, okay, okay, that's good enough. But yeah, I pretty much did this with the intention of, uh, Celebrating the latest Contra game, Operation Beluga, which is the reimagining of this game. And just to show you that you can technically beat it if you just focus really hard. I thought I wasn't able to, to do it again, but there you go. I managed to beat my childhood goal of defeating this game without the Contra. Uh, now to go to the next ones. Super C, uh, Contra 3, uh, Contra Road Corps, who knows? We'll see. <laughs> Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, until next time. Bye.